What's up guys, it's Ray from AchievementHunter.com, back in Modern Warfare 3, and in this video we're going to be doing the 5th Spec Ops mission called Toxic Paradise. Now let me warn you, this is a long video, it's like roughly 9-10 to 10 minutes long, but in all actuality this mission is not that hard. I took my sweet time because I wasn't sure how difficult it will be, but let me tell you, it's actually very, very easy. Alright, as soon as the mission starts, get rid of that shitty grenade launcher and pick up the AK-74, or excuse me, AK-47 with the grenade launcher, and the reason you want that is because there are ammo caches all over this level where you can refill your um your ammunition and when you do that it will refill your ammo your flashes your frags and your um your grenade launcher uh, grenades so that makes it very very easy on top of that you have this air support marker which you did in uh I forgot the name of the mission but it you know it shoots uh, AC-130 shots which also help and you're also in a juggernaut suit so it's like almost impossible to die. You're, you'll see multiple times in this video where I should die, but since I'm in the juggernaut suit, I just kind of walk it off no problem. There are times where I cut it very close, but for the most part, you are going to be fine. Like, I'm going to take my sweet ass time, you're going to see a lot, but you can honestly run through this mission no problem. Uh, the first gun you start with, I th think is an LMG, I really forget, because I honestly just stick with the um, AK-47 for the most part, and just grenade launcher, or noob tube for all you Call of Duty people. To my heart's content because honestly it, it's just going to make it so much easy so much easier and uh, this mission requires you to collect six samples that are scattered across the level all you really got to do is stand next to the um look the what look like oxygen tanks and just hold x and just move from place to place just launching grenades non-stop now you're going to notice i'm terrible with the grenade launcher so excuse my uh your poor gameplay but um like like i said it doesn't if you're bad as me with the grenade launcher, it doesn't matter because you honestly have an endless supply of them because you just keep picking you can just keep picking up ammo and reloading it. So honestly, um, you really don't have to worry about anything special. It's basic enemies. There's a few jeeps, but one grenade launcher destroys the jeep. And uh, at the end of the level, you're gonna run into a juggernaut, which is super easy because it's just one, and he's in like an alleyway, and you could just flash him to death and just lay into him with an LMG and grenades. And at the very end of the level, you're going to run into some riot shield guys, which are not so much difficult as they are annoying, because oddly enough, they are strangely accurate with the pistol behind their uh, the riot shield. But um, that's pretty much the overview of the level. Now you're just going to see me move from area to area, just noob tubing non-stop and using the AC-130, which um, takes like uh, what feels like a few minutes to re, uh, I guess, recharge so you can use it again. But um, you don't really need to rely on it, because like I said grenade launcher with an uh, unlimited grenades and you're in a juggernaut suit so you will be okay this first area we went through where their first two uh, samples are very simple nothing too um nothing too bad just basic foot soldiers just trying to lay into you and no big deal you have a grenade launcher they have a uh, assault rifle so you will be fine and uh, as soon as you move up to these stairs oh by the way another reason why this mission takes so long you go freaking slow as hell as a juggernaut I don't know if you use the Juggernaut in the multiplayer, but it's just like that in this mission. When you sprint, it's still like a crawl. And as you see there, the Jeep goes down in one grenade launcher shot. So even if you're going to sprint through the whole level, it's still going to take you a very, very long time. But, you know, still very easy. And that's one of the uh, ammo things I was telling you about, where you just hold X and it refills everything. Now, if you want, you could always, like, come back to it. Because you can use it as much as you'd like. I think later on in the video, there's a point where I, um... I refill my uh, grenade launcher shots, or grenade launcher grenades, whatever, and I come back and I do it again, and I just pretty much exploit it. I almost die here, which is really bad because I, t the grenade launcher shots I shoot don't explode, or if they explode, they kill nobody. But uh, this guy, freaking ride shield guy over here, has balls of steel, taking me on with a pistol. I just use a grenade launcher, blow him up, no big deal. And that's pretty much what they do. They were like, I don't. It's like it feels like the ride shield guys are almost as difficult to kill as the um, the Juggernaut guys. Not because they take more shots, because, you know, they only take, like, two shots or whatever. By the way, get rid of that Jeep behind the uh, fence as soon as possible because he will do the most damage. It's just they, um, they're just strangely, strangely accurate, and their ride shield seems to, like, block everything from, like, every angle. Even, like, their sides. They're, like, very quick to react. It's, like, bullshit. A lot of bullshit. All right, this area right here... Is what's going to take you the most time, mainly because there's a whole bunch of guys. The first thing I did was throw down my AC-130 grenade right into the um, the middle of it. As you can see, I got like 10 kills from that. So that was pretty sweet. And after you do that, there's going to be a whole bunch of dudes in that building to the right. Now, 
there you can see there's a sample over there and there's a grenade box somewhere look at that I took a rocket and a grenade and I still didn't die that's what I'm talking about juggernaut suit is amazing if you have the juggernaut suit in every single spec ops mission holy shit you would finish everything in like 20 minutes it's great so here we go refill my ammo fail I reloaded come on refill the ammo you know you want to there you go there you go and then um the the guys in here seem to be anti grenade as in grenade proof as in I'm gonna launch like 20 grenades and there's like one guy in the back that won't die whatever just keep letting the grenades fly like I said you have unlimited grenades like I can't stress that enough like it's the mission is so easy I did this on my first try just from like eyeballing it and I'm terrible at spec ops it's just I can't, like, I sound like a broken record, but you're in a juggernaut suit and you have unlimited grenades and AC-130, unlimited ammo, it's, it's great. It's great. I can only imagine how quick this would go with two people. Like, it would be almost unfair. It would be like the AIs playing on veteran. Like, what the fuck? But here I go, going back, refilling again. Now, if there's an ammo crate or anything, I would recommend, uh, refilling before you move on, just so you have, you're at full capacity with all your ammunition and grenades and all that stuff. That guy, let me tell you about that guy behind the bench, he would not fucking die. Anyway, when you get to this part, when you get to this kitchen area, this is where you will fight your juggernaut. You're going to walk into this alley here. There's going to be a juggernaut and like one foot soldier, one regular foot soldier. And there he is, all the way in the back. Very simple. Uh, just throw your flashes, take out your LMG that you start with, and just lay in... Oh, excuse me. Wow, that was uh, unprofessional. I apologize. Just lay into the juggernaut nonstop. He honestly has no chance... When he gets up, go back, flash him, and rinse and repeat. If you run out of flash grenades, hey, look, there's an ammo crate right next to you. He doesn't stand a chance. All right, so reload, get some more ammo here, refill. Now we're coming to the end of the level. You're going to come up to, like, this library or, like, a study-looking area, and there's going to be a whole bunch of dudes in here, which isn't that bad. Once again, just grenade launch the hell out of them. This guy has balls of steel, just like the ride shield guy, trying to take me on one-on-one. -on -one. I'm in a juggernaut suit. What the fuck are you doing? You have no chance. Kill those guys up here. There's going to be some more guys to the right, I believe. Yep, one guy. And then there's going to be like a helicopter above you that won't damage you, but it's going to be dropping off a shit ton of dudes. Look at that one grenade uh, one grenade launcher shot killed five guys. And you're just going to keep launching grenades down there. No big deal. I wait for the guys to um bundle up. Now check out this fail coming up right here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bink. Nothing. Not even an explosion. Apparently grenade launcher rounds have to travel a certain distance to explode. If not, they just like a dud. Yeah, I didn't learn that until uh, this video. So uh, I just do a regular grenade and kind of just rolled it off the second floor to the first floor. But once you do that, doing some cleanup, picking up some gu picking off the guys that are remaining. Um, there's going to be one guy with an RPG in the corner, I believe. So be careful for him because he will obviously do the most damage. So collect that sample. The other one is down at the bottom. So I'm looking for him. I know he's there. There he's in the doorway. Swing and a miss. Actually, we both miss. Great, um, you know, good thing for that. So I get a little bit closer, and I just say, fuck, I'm just going to shoot him. Keep shooting. Boom. And your last sample is right here. Now, after you collect the last sample, I'm going to be in this room for a little bit because I kind of get swarmed. And like I said, at this point, I wasn't sure how strong I actually am. Turn the corner. is going to be two guys there. There's one. There should be another one right there. And if you're fast enough, you can run into the building and not have to deal with, like, the six more guys that come out. That's exaggeration. There's, like, two. But this is where I take the most time just to be careful because you're going to get a little bit swarmed. That guy really rifle butt. You too? Rifle butting? Really? Really? That was a fail grenade. I almost died there again. Oh, you also can't go prone in the, um, in the juggernaut, so you can only crouch. I play on tactical, so I could just click in the right stick to go prone and drop shot. And, uh, yeah, I found out the hard way I couldn't do that. I'm like, drop shot! And I just crouch. I'm like, Fruh! But anyway, once you go into this building, this is where the riot shield guys are. Just keep launching grenades down the big gaping hole in the wall. That's what she said. And you'll be able to clear it. Everybody, no problem. That guy with the riot shield didn't die somehow. So like I said, man, the riot shield guys do not fuck around. You know, all you gotta do is run up the staircase. Uh, this staircase, not the staircase. Kill that guy. Kill the other guy right there. Boom, I'm a first sergeant one. I can lock the magnum. That's pretty cool, I guess. Walk to the store. Walk down. Well, bam, you're done. Mission successful. We did it in like, uh, I can't see the time. Fuck. Well, I'm just going to go by the video. It took like nine minutes. Three stars. And that's it. I forgot what the mission was called, but we did it. Toxic Paradise. That's what it, we did. And uh, we did it. Congratulations. You got three stars. I love you.